M0FXB, welcome to my channel, Kuangsheng UV K5, K6. I've talked about the UV mod system before where you can sort of pick and choose what you want to do with your firmware just here down the list on the left and then you just run the, run the firmware. There is another little handy tip that's on here as well. If you look at the top here, download update to software, that downloads the original software. So if we just hit that and show you what's inside that firmware, folder and thank you very much for you UV mod for this double click UV K5 firmware and in here we've got the USB driver we've got the updater let's do the updater which looks like if we run it through I'm just gonna go next 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 finish and then the little shortcut is this green square at the bottom like a green flower and then you can connect to your UV5 using this to update the firmware. You just select your COM port here just by going right click device management. Now the radio does need to be in, in firmware mode. So if we just go device manager here, ports, there's our port there, COM11. Remember the USB driver is in this bit of software as well. So if we go COM11 and then connect. Now remember to put it into firmware mode, you do have to select, turn off the radio, unplug the USB cable from your radio, hold down the PTT, then turn on the radio with the PTT held down. The white flashlight comes on, you're in firmware mode. And we are now, we're not gonna update right now. I just wanna show you what else is on this link. So firmware video as well. There's your bin file. So firmware is always a bin file. So this one is 2.01.26. And then you just have a look, quick look here what this little readme is. Might give you some more info. Look, installing firmware instructions. So you even get the instructions. I think that's a really handy little tip. Otherwise, look down here, look on the here, you've got apps different things that the radio can do, battery icon, custom boot screen, look at that, troll face, lol, I haven't tried that one, so yeah, I might give it a go in a minute, skip the boot screen, font, negative display, so it makes the display, instead of being all grey with, almost white with black writing, it's all black with white writing, it does look quite cool, uh, display frequency copy disable TX completely backlight duration which is quite a big one that we like menu string increase the mic gain Roger beep enable SWD port okay debugging via SWD custom frequency ranges you got frequency steps weather frequencies AM FM, that's your broadcast, air or copy frequency, and you can actually change the LCD contrast. On the left here, I've not even clicked this before, configure WIP, what's that? Right. Please read config from device. Oh, right, so you can back up your configuration. Well, that's good, let's do it. Read config like so and this is actually recommended that you do this whenever you know whenever you do anything so is it reading maybe my, my radio might have to be in normal mode we'll do that i don't think you put it in firmware mode to do the config so we'll put it into normal mode now it has got the ijv mod so i'm not sure if it will do it let's try again ah uh, like so connect yeah, it's doing it now, even with the, is that one IJV or Exuma? Well, there it is there. There's the backup, the configuration backup. And you can write it, write it as well. And then, of course, once you've saved it, you can select Browse, find that file that was saved, and you've got yourself a backup. That's pretty good. Now, what's this one here? Flasher. Uh, maybe we need to just come out of this window a minute. And we'll hit Flasher. Open, so I don't actually know what that is. It's not letting me do it, but there are instructions here for for doing the backup, this tool lets you edit settings and channels of your radio comfort. That's the UV mod, isn't it? 
configuration console usage the configurator is currently under development fair enough so yeah I'm not really sure why it's not showing me this let me do the open source flasher thing but that was handy wasn't it so thanks for watching my youtube channel bye for now